Hello and welcome everyone to the Del Mar Show, and today we're going to be talking about Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But before we do, I want to talk a little bit about the Mario Kart franchise, and I know I've talked extensively about it years ago when I did my old series, Mullins Retro Bits, which I talked about every single Mario Kart game that was released up until Mario Kart 8, and it was a lot of fun, I will say, even though some of my opinions have changed and a lot of the uh, jokes I did in those videos are kind of cringe-worthy today. But regardless, I still had a lot of fun making it and plus it got me a chance to replay all the Mario Kart games because aside from the main platformers, Mario Kart is like a fun series. I really love racing around as Mario or Luigi or whatever Mario character, just having fun throwing red shells and going in first place and it was always a lot of fun, and granted, at the time, I didn't really have a whole lot of friends to come over and play the game, so I always played it by myself, but even without a whole lot of friends uh, to like play Mario Kart with you, playing around, ch challenging on uh, Ghost, and uh, racing around the Grand Prix stuff, and unlocking all the characters and carts and stuff, was really challenging and a lot of fun, and it just got to a point where I got really good with Mario Kart. And then years later when I was in high school and I started inviting friends over to my house, the multiplayer just accelerated the greatness that Mario Kart had to offer. It's a really fun game to play with friends, whether you're playing in the couch or you're playing online on Mario Kart 8. Granted, I'm not much of an online uh, player. I always prefer local multiplayer with your friends so you can like headbutt them and joke around and stuff like that. It, it's a lot of fun and plus, with Mario Kart, you can go anywhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. Go to places that you wish you can go in the mainline uh, Mario series. Because they just come up with these creative track ideals. Now I know at the end of my retrospective, I mentioned that uh, Mario Kart 64 was still my favorite. And I still love the game, but over time, Mario Kart 8 has become my favorite kart racing game. In fact, one of my favorite games ever, not only just on the Wii U, but just one of my favorites of all time because all the stuff they did with the game, tweaking it uh, with the inventive anti-gravity mechanic and not to mention with the fact that it's one of the best looking Wii U games out there. It plays great, the online is fun and all that stuff. It just makes it the definitive Mario Kart game to date. Until now, I... Oh. UNTIL NOW! <laughs> now, when Nintendo did showcase Mario Kart 8 Deluxe back when the Nintendo Switch was having its presentation back in January, I was a bit kind of confused. I mean, granted, it's great that we would begin a Mario Kart game about a month after the Switch launched, but it wasn't a brand new game. It was just a re-release, and I didn't really think of all that much they could really do with changing Mario Kart 8, because aside from the battle mode, which I think we can all agree was kind of a disappointment. I couldn't really think of any other changes they would do. But then they did showcase that battle mode was going back to its original state and a bunch of other stuff. And plus taking it on the go, you know, that sounds like a very good offer. I think that raises the stakes of owning Mario Kart 8. And it proves because when this game came out, it became the fastest selling title in the Mario Kart franchise. And it just, it just sold like hotcakes, and actually I could go for hotcakes right now, I'll, I'll be right back. Although with MK8 Deluxe, it's about the same thing. You get all the same tracks, all the same characters, Visual UX the same and all that, but there are quite a bit of changes that they have made to the game. For example, I personally thought that they did some extra tweaks with like the uh, weight class with the characters, and the uh, driving and controls, but I think they did a lot of tweaking that I think made it fun to play on. I mean, granted, I mean, I like playing with the Joy-Cons and stuff, but I play with the Pro Controller most of the time, and even with or without the Pro Controller, the game is still fun to play. It All the cards move great, it just feels fun drifting and stuff, and I think they made a lot of tricks to the characters and the driving stats that help make it uh, a lot more balanced, in my opinion, and not to mention the fact that uh, I think they just done a whole lot in terms of, like, uh, tweaking like the items like I think the red shell moves a little bit slower I think I'm not 100% sure 
but they just did a whole lot of changes and stuff that I think improved the game quite a bit. They may not be majorly noticeable, but when you actually get to play Deluxe and compare it back with Mario Kart 8, you can tell they've definitely tried to improve a bit in regards to the gameplay of making it a bit more fair and just a lot more uh, intuitive, you will say. Visually, the game looks about the same. Now, granted, when you play with the Switch uh, in TV mode, the game now generates to 1080p instead of 720p like on the Wii U. And I think when you take it on the go, it goes to 720, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but still the game looks identical. I don't know why some people do comparison videos because it looks about the same. I think maybe the shadow and the lighting effects have improved and the draw distance has been improved a little bit, but other than that, it looks about the same. So, I mean, you're getting the same best looking Wii U game out there, but on the go. That, that's pretty much it. All the characters and the DLC that came out a few years ago is included in this game. All the characters are unlockable uh, from the start. Well, there is one character you have to unlock, but I'm not telling you who it is. I, I, I'm not, because that will ruin the surprise a bit. Even though I think some people already know what it is, but who cares, I'm not telling. But the weird thing is, is that even though all the characters are unlocked, the carts, you still have to like, collect coins to have the carts unlocked, which, I mean, granted, I'm glad that I'm unlocking something as I'm going through the Grand Prix, but it still seems weird to have all the characters unlockable, all the characters right there on the get-go, but then some of the carts you still have to unlock. I noticed that it's a lot of the DLC carts, that you have to collect coins to get, which is kind of weird, but eh, I'd rather unlock something than just have doing all the Grand Prix for nothing, you know? But they did add a few new things that I did like about the game. One thing I didn't really care much for, which wasn't made for me, but for younger kids who are playing Mario Kart for the first time, it might be a bit uh, interesting. There's now a auto steering and a auto accelerate. Now the auto steering I can see because you know if a kid falls off too many times this can help them stay on the track. The auto accelerate I don't understand why they didn't put that in because well you just hold A and you drive but regardless I think it's a fun little addition for like younger kids who never played a car racing game before and helps them get in to it so I think that right there might help out but for like veteran players it's entirely pointless. and. One thing that got really annoying was that as I started uh, on my first Grand Prix, I noticed that the antenna was already unlocked. It's like, wait, I didn't even turn the antenna on. What, what's going on? So if somehow you can't perform the Ultra Turbo or the fact that you can't fall out close to stuff, before you start a race, make sure that the steering is turned off because that does get a bit of a, that is a bit of a nuisance. And I mentioned Ultra Turbo, which is another addition to the drifting. So you got like the blue sparks and yellow sparks, but if you drift a bit longer, you'll get purple sparks, which will make you go even more faster. And for veterans, it's really fun to use. I don't do it a whole lot because, well, it depends on like the, the track line stuff. And it gets a little bit crazy, especially in 200cc trying to perform it. But when you do, you feel amazing and accomplished by doing it. There's also some new characters introduced. Well, five, six, one of them being the unlockable, which I'm not telling. And then the other ones are Bowser Jr., Dry Bones, King Boo, and the Inkling Boy and Girl from Splatoon. I wish there was maybe like two more extra characters to add some more value, but I think five new characters is good enough for my taste. And you also get two new items in the game. Well, they're not new, but the old items that we haven't seen for quite a while that were brought back into this. You got the Boo power-up from Mario Kart 64, which allows you to turn invisible as well as steal an opponent's item. And then the other item I was really surprised to see was the Feather from Ma Super Mario Kart. And this item is only available in the battle mode, which basically if you jump over an opponent driver, you can knock out a balloon and it can help jump over obstacles. So I was really happy to see them reusing the Fever item again after so long, which I didn't even think they were going to bring it back any, but hey, it works really well in battle mode. But the biggest change to the game is the battle mode. Now if you played Mario Kart 8 on the original Wii U, 
It was kind of a disappointment because there was no battle mode Pacific Stadium. It was all on race tracks, which on paper sounds interesting, but when you execute it, it becomes kind of dull, especially in like Toad's Harbor or Yoshi's Valley, where there's a lot of paths and you're trying to find that uh, person to knock out a balloon. It's not as fun as like a regular battle stadium, and that was kind of a disappointment, but here, they brought back the original battle mode, and it's so much fun. I played it with my friend, uh, Nerd Thomas uh, Whitford, and we both agreed that it was so much fun. It's probably one of the best battle modes to date in the Mario Kart series, in my opinion. Not to mention the fact that you get to play so many original courses, such as the SNES battle mode, and then uh, Luigi's Mansion from Double Dash. Two of my favorite new courses is the Battle Stadium, not an inventor name, but it's the Battle Stadium. And then the Urchum Underpass from Splatoon, which was a little bit crazy because you actually slide with the ink, which makes them for some crazy rounds. And not to mention, they brought back several different modes like uh, Coin Runners, uh, Shine Sprites uh, make a comeback. But one of my favorite modes to play in the game, and this is actually brand new, is Renegade Roundup, which is pretty much cops and robbers. And Trust me when I say, me and Nerd Thomas had a blast. This is one of my favorite battle mode uh, features and I'm so happy they made this new idea for the game. It's so much fun, I have to say. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't tried out uh, Renegade Roundup, if you have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I highly recommend it. It is so much fun. And that's pretty much Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and it's a fun game. I really enjoyed it. I think there's a lot of neat stuff that they added in to an already perfected game that made it the... I already used definitive, so... Exquisite? I, I don't know if that will work. Whatever. The, it makes it the exquisite uh, port of Mario Kart 8 to, to date and one of the best ways to play Mario Kart in my opinion. It is such a good game. Now, granted for someone who's owned the uh, Mario Kart 8 already, there's not a whole lot of new stuff added aside from the battle mode. I think maybe if they added like maybe two new cups, like eight new tracks, that would have been fine. Or hey, if they wanted to try to add some more stuff to it, why not bring back those little missions from Mario Kart DS? That would be really fun to have like boss battles and stuff like that. I think that would have added a bit more value to Mario Kart 8 because if you played it before on the Wii U, it's pretty much the same thing just with the fixed battle mode and the fact that you get to play it on the go but you know I think a lot of people it's up to you if you think there's enough new content added in to get the game but judging by the sales and the fact that it's probably already exceeding over what Mario Kart 8 did on the original Wii U I still recommend this it is such a fun game and probably the best way to play Mario Kart to date pretty much I love this game I still love the Wii U version but with all the changes they made with the game I definitely love playing this one a lot more. It's so much fun. And plus, you can take it in the go, play with two Joy-Cons and stuff like that. So yeah, and it's Mario Kart. Granted, this kind of messes up my retrospective and kind of dates it back quite a bit. But regardless, it's still a fun game and I recommend it. So, that's all the time we have for today, folks. So, if you would like to leave your thoughts on today's game, just comment below. And if you want to get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, it is 60 bucks, but I think it is worth the price of a mission because it is such a fun game. It's a game that's perfect for the Switch, so I highly recommend trying it out. Even if you have Mario Kart 8, I say check and see if the content's worth it. I think a lot of people will appreciate the uh, revamped battle mode, seeing that brought back. So it's pretty much up to you if you want to buy the game again, if you already have it already. So thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. So. Bye! Actually, I was thinking about just ending this with me playing the, uh, playing the Switch, but then I realized it's been too long. I, I think now it's the time to put my Maya cock driving to use. So, what do you say? We go out there and drive! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I get to drive! I get to drive on this crazy... How does... Um, now, um, how does... Like, press the brake? Oh, oh, oh.
Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to die. Okay. Release your inner Mario Kart driving skills. And then... Yahoo!